Welcome back to Cottrell's Hunting and Trapping Outdoors. I'm up here at the farm tonight. I have this bait hole here, and I'm up here uh, putting some of my homemade bait in that hole, and then I'm gonna try out this here jet fuel, and I'm gonna put some of that in here. But uh, I'm up here, and I've got uh, I've got a trail camera up over this bait hole and where I'm at, I'm on a ridge right here and it comes off that point right here and let me pan around here. It runs about a quarter of a mile back behind the Kubota right there. And in the past, I have had my trail cameras up here and I've gotten coyotes up here. But here last year, the neighbor went in here and he uh, had his holla timbered. And we've got a logging road coming up out of the holla there. And then if you can sit down through the trees there, we've got a pond down there. But that logging road, it runs all the way back out around this hill and it hits up on another ridge right out there. And... I thought maybe this would be a good place to <clears throat> get something coming in here. But uh, this video will be on uh, the video that I'm going to probably do this weekend. And what that video will be is more me working around the house and doing some odd jobs. But this here will be on there too. So... Uh, I'll get this in there and I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. Okay, I just got this done and I got my bait down in there and in West Virginia, if I was setting a trap here, we had to have our bait covered. So I put some leaves down in the hole and then I've got uh, the jet fuel right there at the end of my finger. You can see it's sticking out of there. You need to put some more chain on some of my traps so i'm probably going to do that this weekend too so this video will be out here probably monday i will upload this video so i'm going to get off here for now and i will see you a little bit later on Okay, I didn't show you all of it, but I got it in there, and this is the second light fixture I've ever put in, and it works. I will show you right here, if I can, right there it is. So...
Okay, what I'm doing here, where you see them nest boxes there, I'm going to put a board up there and slope that down towards your front, towards your camera, so them chickens will quit roosting in these boxes and getting my eggs all messed up and stuff. But just bear with me here and uh, we'll get this done. I'm going to shut you off here and get everything set up and we'll get this board up here like we need to. For those of you who haven't seen my uh, the inside of my chicken house, right there's the roost, and then here's my nest boxes. The bottom nest boxes are made out of five gallon buckets, and then I just had some box some uh, boxes uh, setting around here. I used to keep rabbits, and that was old nest boxes, so I made that their boxes where they lay eggs, but. Uh, this building, this is the first structure I ever built, and I built this out of uh, pallets, and I didn't get this thing squared up very good. Uh, it's just a thing to keep chickens in, but uh, this is it. Uh, you can see there that that board looks like it's not the same size on both sides, but... Uh, what it is, this here building right here, it is, uh, it's not level across here. And uh, when I built this, I didn't build it very level. But like I said, this was the first thing I ever built on mine. And it was to keep chickens in. So that's what I did here. But uh, right here it is. And then that little box there that I built. That's where I raise baby chicks. I put a light in there and I raise them up there and uh, then I'll turn them out here in with my other chickens. But this is it and
right there it is all finished up the only thing i've got to do i do have to do a couple more things but i'm not going to get to it tonight it's starting to get dark but i got to put a place right here for them to get be able to get up in there and to lay their eggs and then i want to uh fill in this side here i may take a piece of tin and put over that so they'll not jump from a roost over into there so maybe get into something else tomorrow if i uh get a chance to put that chain on my traps i will probably do some of that if not y'all get to watch this video so it has to do with the outdoors and taking care of the critters so i hope y'all enjoy it I'm going to end this video right here. Uh, I didn't get to put the chain on my traps here today like I wanted to, but I did get to go check my trail cameras. And you may have already seen those pictures, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. And like I said early, maybe in this video or before, my videos are going to be more like this. They're going to pertain to me doing work here around my home and whatever else I am doing. And there will be some hunting and trapping stuff thrown in there on these videos. But I'm trying something different here and I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a great evening and may the good Lord bless y'all wherever you may be.